Reason number 2017 for having a home gym is the time of year like this, when it starts to snow and get really crappy, I just walk right out here. Don't have to worry about warming up my car. Don't have to worry about the roads being shitty. I walk 10 feet from my house and boom, we're right here ready to get a lift. Anyway, today uh, is winter bulk day 16. I have a chest workout today. It's gonna be four exercises, two or three sets each, starting out with some bench press. But before that, I've gotta get a good warm up. So I'm gonna get after that right now. Let's go. Since I am still warming back up from the cold plunge, this warm up is gonna be super important. Got a resistance band. First thing I'm gonna do is just some simple pull aparts. I'm just gonna do this for about a minute, keeping the tension on the resistance band the entire time. Next thing I'm gonna do is continue to wake up the shoulders, arms up overhead, and just rolling my shoulders back. And the last thing I'm gonna do to warm up, just to get my chest engaged, I'm gonna take this resistance band, I'm gonna wrap it around my shoulders like so, and I'm just gonna do some push ups through the resistance of the band. Get after it. Anyway, I got four exercises today. I'm gonna to start out with a flat press. This is the bench press. Got 145 pounds on here. Just making sure I'm getting good high quality reps in good form. Planning on three sets, see how it goes. I'm gonna get after set one right now, 145 pounds. Well, that's a good sign. Cranked out 10 pretty good ones on my opening set. Now for a short break and then we'll get into set two. pretty good. I think I want a third set. I'm liking this bench press 145 pounds. Let's go one more set. All right, set three, bench press. If I can get six good ones, this 145 pounds, I'll be very happy with that. I felt great. Let's move on to something else. Let's get down on the floor. Let's do some chest flies. So having a home gym is freaking awesome. However, it does present some limitations. I only have so much room to put equipment. I can't have a pec deck. I don't have a big cable machine. So for chest flies, I'm basically limited to only dumbbells. So I have this, uh, you know, kind of recurring left shoulder injury. And I actually prefer to do my chest flies down on the floor to prevent that overextension of that shoulder. Right about past here is where a lot of those injuries occur where people are trying to do too much weight or just trying to meet their way through their exercises. So the floor works out for me. So here we go, set one. Some chest flies on the floor. And it's really, it's the same chest fly principles as a bench or a pec deck. Pinch those shoulders back keep all the tension in the chest. I'm going down just so when my elbows are grazing the ground. And I'm not coming all the way up top and clanking the weights. And my chest isn't doing anything right here in this position. I want to keep the tension on my chest the whole time. So from here to here, my range motion. All right, here we go, set two. That's 
that's feeling pretty good. Whew. Really feeling that squeeze in the pecs. Let's move on to something else. Next, I'm gonna change the angle of the pressing. Uh, I've got some dumbbells here, a pair of 45 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna get some incline dumbbell press. I'm gonna shoot for three sets. We'll see how we feel. Let's go. One more. That's good for set one. I got one more in me. These are feeling really good. I want to get one more set. Let's move on. All right, last exercise of the day. Got some dips and I have a 10 pound dumbbell. I'm going to grasp this dumbbell in between my two feet, use it as a little bit of extra resistance. I'm gonna shoot for about five or six reps with that dumbbell. Then I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna rep out as many as I can with just my body weight afterwards. So last exercise, do uh, two or three sets here and then end this chest workout. So let's go. That's it for set one. That felt really good. I usually put a counterweight on the other side of my captain's chair and I didn't this time, so it was a little bit unstable. I'm gonna uh, lay some 45 pound plates on there and then get one more set before we call it a day. All right, last set of the day. Let's end this one strong. Couldn't quite make it to 10 reps there. But that's all right. My chest is feeling real good. I'm gonna take this momentum and bring it with me the rest of the day. I appreciate you joining me today. If you're new to the channel, I post about fitness and boxing every single day. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you right back here in the gym soon.